Okay, we're going to start this year at the beginning of the book in section 1.1. And 1.1 is simply t talking about what we're going to do over the entire uh, course. So earth science is studying where we live, studying the interactions of all the stuff that goes on. And that is enormous. That is more than anybody could understand or certainly um, like gather. There's too much information, but we're going to do an overview of this. So we're going to kind of look at all of the systems of the earth. We're going to, we're going to see how they interplay. We're also going to do a little bit uh, in space science. So we're going to start uh, this year with astronomy. We're going to look at the stars, the constellations of stars, and also um, how the universe works. How does the solar system work to, to whatever degree um, man has gathered that information. Meteorology is the study of the weather. So the air, the heat, the interactions with uh, water, um, how all of that is moving around, what is causing the movement, uh, what could you expect. Uh, so we'll look at, uh, at basically storms and, and uh, rain and snow and hopefully snow days. Geology is the study, geo means earth, so study of the earth, but specifically in this case we're talking about uh, what makes up the earth. So the rocks, study of rocks, and that might sound like dull as dust, uh, but um, dust is also part of geology. We're going to look at how that everything is put together. What is it made of? What's the recipe to make an earth? How did, how was that done? Uh, we're going to look at oceanography a bit. That's going to, we're going to look at the water. Uh, we're going to look at, um, at the interactions of the earth under the water and what's going on. How, how does the oceans um, uh, make this place livable? And how does the destruction of the oceans um, spell our doom if we're not careful? Environmental science, we're going to look at briefly um, and in little touches as we go through. Environmental science is how do we care for the earth? How do we steward it properly? And what, what, do, we, what do we need to know in order to keep what the earth needs to be healthy, if you think of it in that way, or what we need the earth to be for us to be healthy, what do we need to do that? So we'll look at pollution. We'll look at um, um, what it is that we're doing to the earth and, and how that we should treat it uh, so that it's a long-term uh, place for us and our, and our children. We're also going to look at the, the parts or the subspecialties of earth science, and that in some ways you look at one part or one component. So the geosphere of the earth is everything touching the ground or the land. So how is it made? What's it made of? What, is, what are the um, mechanisms that bring everything together and cause things to interact? Uh, we'll look at earthquakes. We'll look at volcanoes. We'll look at all of that stuff that, that uh, is fun. I like that. The atmosphere, if there's a hundred miles of air and gases above the Earth's surface. And all that interaction um, allows us to live. There are places with no atmosphere we could not live. So uh, how does that work? How do storms work? How does the wind work? Uh, we'll look at all that. Hydrosphere is water. Uh, so the interactions of water, everything on Earth, every living thing on Earth needs water. How is that water provided? What will become of a place that has no water? What happens when the weather changes and there's no water brought in? Uh, so we'll look at that. Cryosphere, more of frozen. Cryo is frozen, so frozen usually water. Um, what happens when glaciers melt? What happens when the um, ice caps at the, at the poles um, are no longer frozen? Um, is that great news? Is that scary news? What's going on with that? We'll look at that. Biosphere, we're going to touch almost very little, just a touch in terms of the fact that this provides a uh, place and also provides what we need. So uh, ultimately the energy as we study in the sun, the energy that uh, that we need in order to have food and, and be provided for, that's all uh, the how it works. We'll even look at how the sun works. Um, also uh, what we need from the earth. So uh, where are the minerals that you need in your body? Where is that ultimately coming from and how does that work? That That's where all these disciplines touch each other. Okay, so biology has something to do with earth science, it has something to do with astronomy, on and on and on. And so we're going to just take it little by little 
and try to investigate. I hope that you enjoy this. I hope that you are curious, that you allow yourself to ask questions uh, to yourself and to those in class that we can look at it. We'll try to um, do some things, uh, see some things. It's really hard. How do I see under the ground? How do I see the inside of the sun? Some of this is conceptual, but we are going to try to look at it piece by piece and I uh, hope you really enjoy this class.